now. Another school day turns into a day of interrupted education for two elementary schools, and it's all due to teacher callouts in the face of contract negotiations. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Brian Loftus. It's not the first day of cancellations for the same reason, and these likely won't be the last students impacted by the inability of the adults to come to an agreement. A News Now Education reporter Joshua Pagaro has more. Over the last week, we've had Clark County school teachers call in sick in mass, forcing parents and students to scramble. But what makes Fridays different is that not only one, but two schools were forced to close. Ariel Morasco's daughter is in the third grade at Givens Elementary in Summerlin, one of the schools that canceled classes. It really affects the students and their education. And that's really what's most important is these kids and their future. and. Unfortunately, all of this is just affecting our whole community. But don't mistake that sentiment for someone who doesn't support teachers. Morasco says her daughter missing class is a small sacrifice for increasing teacher pay. I feel like the teachers deserve better and that they had to come to this point where they had to make such a statement. It really it makes me sad because they're amazing teachers. Sewell Elementary in Henderson was also forced to close. In letters sent to parents, both school principals blamed, quote, unexpected number of licensed staff teachers absent from school. Gibson Elementary experienced a similar situation Tuesday telling parents there was no school minutes before doors opened. I wish that you know last night we could have been notified or even six o'clock this morning you know we were minutes away from walking out the door and, and heading to school. A large number of teachers at Southeast Korean Technical Academy and Monaco Middle School have also called in sick. But in both cases, school remained open. As for Ariel Morasco's daughter, Avi, who attends Givens Elementary. How did you feel when you heard there was no school? Excited, but I was kind of sad as I didn't get to see my friends in play recess. There isn't school on Monday for CCSD students as it's staff development day. Reporting along Lake Mead and Warm Springs, Joshua Figueroa, 8 News Now. Now, the Clark County Education Association has previously said it has no knowledge of teacher callouts and that these absences are not associated with CCEA actions now or in the future. Now, we also want to remind parents tonight there is no school for the, uh, on Monday because it's already a planned staff development day.